Newsweek is expressing pleasure, yeah. whether it's schadenfreude, whether it's whatever kind of pleasure, it is uh, ex- Newsweek. Newsweek, of all places, right, is expressing explicit pleasure yeah. at the deaths of a particular ethnic group on the basis of their skin color. Yeah. That is the reality of American media. Yeah. What else do they want? I mean, where, where do you go from there? Well, if they what they'll, got it where now, they'll go from there is wherever else they can find a group that they can crow over their destruction, which will be a white group, without a doubt. Let's just be frank about that. But I mean, like, if, if, if it hasn't given people pause by now, if the editor of that story, the writer of that story, the person who tweeted it, the other six people who were aware of its existence before it went from, you know, an idea to a printed article, to, to a published article on the Newsweek website, if, if it hasn't reached any of those people that they should say, what the fuck are we doing? It's not going to, is it? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you know, you're going it's a, you know what it is. It's you could a tri- have white people hanging from trees. It's not, a trial not, balloon. Not to put too fine a point on it. Yeah, it's uh, a trial balloon. They're the left does this continually. They float stuff up and see if they can get away with it. Mm. And, once, and it, once it's done and once you've established that norm, the rest can follow suit. Over and the window some, moves. And some other publication will take the mantle on of the next trial balloon. Yep. And then you've got... And it's a continual escalation to see how much anti-white hatred can be generated uh, from the left. And the left, what, of what course, morphed... What people will tolerate before they snap. Yeah, the left morphed from uh, class baiting to race baiting. Mm.